WEL come to my channel the best makeup tips dust powder on your eyelids twice to help makeup stay. I have what very well may be the oiliest lids in the land, and on my hooded eyes, that means even waterproof liner ends up smudged on my crease. I've dubbed it the banana look. I've tried every shadow primer, but the only thing that's made a difference is sweeping on a shadow brush of loose powder before and after I start my eye makeup. It doesn't alter the colors at all, but soaks up oil, and keeps it that way. RN. For natural looking lashes, try a tiny brush. Thick mascara brushes just don't work on my lashes. Meaning, they always, without fail, make the product clump and stick together, no matter what formula I use. Still, I like the look of a tint, so I've taken to using Clinique's bottom lash mascara on my top lashes. The brush is tiny and thin, and it deposits a little product without making me look spidery or overdone. Harry Samoden, digital deputy editor instead of brushing mascara on, wiggle the wand. I apply mascara by wiggling the brush across my lashes from the bottom and working my way up with the same motion. It sounds silly, but I noticed a big difference in my lashes after I learned this tip on a shoot. My mascara used to clump, now each lash looks fluttery and defined. Haley Le Savage, Fashion Features Assistant Tap on Gloss for High Cheekbones Without Highlighter. For a daytime highlight, I'll put Too Faced's Clear Melted Latex Lipstick on the high parts of my cheekbones for a subtle, more natural glow. It's great for layering my crazy highlighters on top of after wearing makeup all day. Kalia Hawkins, Digital Administrative Assistant Wing Your Cat Eye Upward, Not Outward. This may seem obvious to fellow liner lovers, but it didn't really register for me until I met cat eye master Daniel Chinchilla, who's Ariana Grande's makeup artist. He explained that a common cat eye mistake is drawing a line that goes out straight toward your ear, which can make your eyes look droopy, rather than up toward the ends of your eyebrows. Since making this slight adjustment to my technique, I've gotten my cat eye down to a science. I just follow the upward direction of my lower lash line, instead of the downward direction of my upper. Jennifer Mulrow, Assistant Beauty Editor Trace Brown Liner under your top lashes for more definition. I wear winged liner every day, but before I do that I always tight line my upper lid. I just lift my eyelid a little and very gently line under my lashes. My eyeliner, I use Stila, is black, but I use dark brown for the tight line, Marc Jacobs Highliner Matte Gel Eye Crayon in Earthquake. It makes a really noticeable difference, making the final look bolder and my eyes seem bigger. Azade Valanajad, social producer brushing your brows up makes a huge difference. Backstage at Rosie Asulin this past spring 18 season, James Caliardos explained to an eager group of editors how a little grooming can make you look instantly put together. The easiest way? By brushing your eyebrows. Mid-interview, in fact, he asked if he could brush my eyebrows right then and there. Do I even want to know how long he'd been waiting to ask that? It's safe to say I haven't left the house without brushing my eyebrows since. All you need is a regular spoolie, but clear gloss will keep them in place longer. JM. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos.